Do perfumes go off or expire? If you've spent good money on a scent, you might be wondering how long is it going to last? How long is it going to keep its quality? Today, I'm going to tell you everything I know about the lifespan of perfume. And at the very end, I'm going to give you my top three tips for preserving it as long as you can. Although we've been in the TikTok sphere for quite a while now, we're quite new to YouTube. So if you like this video, hit subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. So does perfume go off? Even though it sounds like they contain some of the same ingredients, perfume doesn't behave in the same way that perishable goods like food and drink do. Even though a perfume might say that it contains lemon and vanilla, the actual contents are structurally very different. Perfume ingredients that have been taken from natural materials can be made into a variety of different substances, but the most common are absolute and essential oils. An essential oil is the captured essence of a natural ingredient. The essential oil won't spoil in the same way that the original ingredient would. However, they can change because when an essential oil comes into contact with heat, oxygen or light, its composition changes through a process we call oxidation. Each oil has a different shelf life. A lemon oil, for example, could deteriorate over a year or two. Sandalwood might not change for over six. Every ingredient differs. It's therefore very difficult to pinpoint the exact shelf life of a fragrance because each perfume contains multiple different ingredients. The ballpark rule of thumb is actually an average. Many people or brands like to say that the average shelf life of a perfume is between three and five years. But even though that's pretty broad, the truth is it's actually just a guess. Some people complain that their perfume has gone off in under a year. This is usually because of poor quality or poor treatment. We'll come back to that. Whilst others say that their fragrance lasts for decades, if you don't spray it all first. So, Let's talk about if a perfume can improve with age. To talk about that, we have to discuss something that is hugely debated. What is perfume maceration? Maceration is the process of allowing fragrance oils to blend together to create a unified, complete scent. It is a crucial step in the perfume making process, where the mixed raw materials are allowed to rest and blend together over a period of time. It can be for a few days, it can be for several months, and most perfumes aren't available to purchase until they've macerated to the perfumer's satisfaction. In some rare occasions, this process continues after the product has been purchased, resulting in a very subtle shift in the scent profile as the fragrance continues to mature. There are some perfume ingredients like oud which are prized for their ability to improve over time. And if your fragrance contains some of these ingredients, your perfume might change over time and age like a fine wine. But for the vast majority of fragrances, they have already macerated. And if you take the risk to leave your fragrance to age over time, you might come back to a fragrance which has actually declined. So how do I know if my perfume has gone off? If there are no hard and fast rules about expiry then it's up to you to work it out and there are three red flags that you should be looking for the first one is obvious the smell an expired perfume or a gone off perfume will be noticeably vinegary or even rancid and will be completely different to the fragrance you originally purchased if you're worried that you might not be able to tell trust me you will be able to tell it just won't smell nice the second is color but this is not what people think. A change in a perfume's color might be alarming, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gone off. But a change in color is only a problem if the scent has also changed. Some perfumes containing huge amounts of natural ingredients go through huge color changes without the fragrance changing at all. So whilst it's a handy warning sign, it's always best to follow your nose. And lastly, volume. Your perfume might be evaporating without you even using it. A perfume with a high concentration of alcohol might evaporate faster. And if there's damage to the container or the cap, it might speed up that process. But now I've made you worry about it going off, I think you're probably gonna ask, what can I do to stop all this happening? Can I stop my perfume expiring? Unfortunately, no. But you can delay it. So new question, how do I preserve my fragrance? Well, there are a few good practices that will give your perfume the best shot at a long and happy life. Storage, try and keep your perfume away from light, heat, and places where there are drastic temperature changes. Keep the cap on. Try and keep your perfume as sealed as possible to reduce the exposure to air. The last one is a big one, heat. Don't let your perfume get hot. It speeds up oxidation. Some people will tell you to do the opposite and keep it in the fridge, but this doesn't necessarily help. In fact, it might actually do the opposite because every time you use it, you're taking it in and out of fluctuating temperatures. So. Even though there's lots of complicated science behind it, the truth is what you need to do is very simple. And if you like that and want to hear more, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you soon.